Hello everyone and welcome to the Malaysian Grand Prix. So yeah, um, after Singapore, which was a shit enough race after the final corner. So yeah, if you haven't went saw it, I recommend you do go see it before you see this episode because it was an enthralling race and then you will see what happens at the last corner on the last lap of the race. So yeah, now that's out of the way. Let's get into the Malaysian Grand Prix practice. So yeah, here we are in the garage, and yeah, we're just going to make sure we're on this uh, option tire. I think it is medium tire. Sorry, the medium tire for this tire test. Not that it really matters, like. But I lost the track climatization footage, so yeah, we're just going to go out and do it again. So then you can't see it. So anyway, coming through now. Yeah, uh, it was an okay lap, but. We still don't go purple, so yeah, let's go again. Coming through now. Still not purple, but we've got a couple of purples in a row there. So coming across the line, still not there. 20 points off, so final lap of the program. Coming through now. Still don't have enough. But still didn't get enough. So yeah, we're just going to box and yeah, I just could not get it. I tried and tried and tried and couldn't get it, so yeah, we just I just said that was enough, we couldn't get them extra 20 points, so yeah, let's just go out and do the track, the tire, tire management test, so yeah, um, here it is, at the end of the first lap, we are going green the first lap, so that's 10 points to add so far, so coming through now, we're going to go purple, so yeah, so that's 25 points, so we only need another 10 to succeed, but obviously we want to get purple, so we need... 45. So, yeah, so now we're on the second, third lap. So yeah, going green on this lap, coming out of the final corner, run a bit wide. But yeah, we still go purple, we're neutral there, so we succeeded, we've got green, but obviously we want to push that little bit extra and get purple. So um So now last lap we are going to go purple. Opening the rest for the run to the line. And yeah, so green, purple, green, purple, so we must out on a perfect, well we got perfect like, but we didn't get absolutely perfect we didn't get the 60 points that we that we didn't really need like, but we still got it so let's go on to the qualifying pace and see what we can do there so jumping out on the track coming through now, you can see Esteban Gutierrez is ahead of us, he will get, that was perfect because he will get, give us slipstream further on the line and we do indeed go purple by 2.046 seconds so yeah, that's good. So yeah, let's just call it. Uh, let's just end the session there, cause yeah, we've done all the test. We don't need to do any more. So yeah, let's just skip with two min two minutes forty seconds to go. Yeah, just advance to qualifying, cause we As don't need the other. And Max Verstappen beat us, which was Verstappen, all right. McLaren and Nico Rosberg. Practice times are on the board then, but no points are on offer just yet. We'll be back with more F1 action soon. Thanks for that, Crafty. So, yes, here we are. Our resource points from practice. So, obviously, after Singapore, we have ceased development. So, all them, all them resource points will go to Season 2, where we can re upgrade the QR. And, hopefully, we will be able to perform better. So, yeah, let's listen to our agent. Hi, how are you? I'm just passing on your qualifying goals for this weekend. So yeah, our qualifying goals are finish 8th or higher, qualify 8th or higher, beat Lewis Hamilton and beat Jansen Button. So, some realistic targets. I don't know about beating Lewis Hamilton, because there you can see in the rivalry, we're well down. He's in 12, we're in 4, so yeah, it's just a race to 30, so Sit back see who comes out on top. We head into qualifying here in Kuala Lumpur. Over the next few minutes, we'll find out who's got pace in the car and who hasn't. In recent seasons, much talk has been made about tyre wear. Some say it gets in the way of the racing, others say it's always been part of the sport. Are we going to see drivers trying to look after their tyres here, or throw caution to the wind and worry about that when it becomes a problem? Tyre wear is always something you have to consider to a certain degree. Finding a good car balance that suits the circuit will help prolong the life of the tyre, but it's true that some circuits, such as this one, are more challenging than others. How hard you can push them depends on your strategy and how tight the battle is around you. Okay, so now here we are in qualifying there. And hopefully we can maybe second near the front. Maybe I qualify Lewis Hamilton, we don't know, but 
yeah, let's just go out on track and see what we can do. So yeah, coming through now, out of the final corner, open the arse, we run to the line, and we go P1 with the 37, 8. So that's a pretty good lap. So yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think we'll just retire on that. And, yeah, just sit in the garage. So yeah, um, now all we just have to wait for 11 minutes. Let's go, purple first sector, uh, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button up there in third. So that's a pretty strong showing from the McLaren's showing it's not just me showing Pace's Button as well. So, so finish P2, three tenths behind Max Verstappen. So we still beat Lewis Hamilton, we still beat Jensen Button, we did qualify in the top in the top eight. So yeah, uh, it was only Max Verstappen who had qualified us. So yeah, that was a pretty successful qualifying session. There's a research point from qualifying. So um yeah this should give us a further eighty eight research points. Yes and it does. So the rivalry update I should be maybe on par with Lewis Hamilton, maybe just behind him because we did a qualifying. No he's starting to pull away. Nine sixteen so yeah he's halfway there. We've got a bit of a mountain to climb so can we do it? With only a few races left after this one. So yeah, uh, let's listen to our agent and get our race goals. Hey, how are you? I have some information on the race goals you should keep in mind. So, 5th or, or 6th or higher, I think it is 5th or higher, beat Lewis Hamilton, beat Jansen Button, and in the constructors, finish 10th or above, obviously, to get points. So yeah, we have a bit, so as I was saying before, we have a bit of a mountain to climb, in order to all overhaul Lewis Hamilton with the rivalry, so yeah, let's just get into the race and see what we can do. A young Spaniard named Fernando Alonso sat at the front of the grid here over a decade ago now. The first flash of greatness in a race that also gave us the maiden win for Kimi Raikkonen. The Malaysian Grand Prix is an event for gifted racers to climb to the top and for those on the sidelines to find new talents. Five lefts and ten rights make up the 15 corners of Sepang's 3.4 mile circuit, a track where the weather always threatens to play a deciding factor. The drivers will be subjected to forces in excess of 4G and heavy braking zones in four of these corners, two of which come at the end of DRS zones into turn one and to turn 15. And alongside me today to talk you through all that is Anthony Davidson, and welcome again. It's good to be back in Kuala Lumpur, isn't it? A lovely country, Malaysia, lovely circuit, and a race that, that tends to be quite hard to predict. Yeah, it does indeed. There are a lot of high energy corners that make the rear tyres suffer around here. And coupled with the excessive heat, that makes it difficult to keep your tyres in the right operating window. And of course, in previous years, we've come here very early in the season, which throws a potential reliability variable in there as well. today if we want to catch Hamilton in the drivers championship so before so now we're on the grid I'm just looking at my strategy here yeah I think I probably will go with that strategy because it's I was just moving the second stint back because obviously I just want to see what's the quickest time because I was looking at the projected race time just seeing which was quicker so yeah, that's our strategy. We are going to just go onto the grid. I was thinking about doing two stop there, but no. We're on the grid now, and away we go for the formation lap now. A bit late on the clutch here, but we'll still get away. So yeah, now come line up on the grid. Um, in P2, now you can see Jansen Button directly behind us and Nico Rosberg. So Red Bull, uh, McLaren, Mercedes. McLaren, Mercedes, so yeah, Ferrari. So now we're just waiting on the rest of the grid to form up. It shouldn't be too long now. So there it is now. So revving up to five red lights. Lights are out, and away we go. Dump the clutch and get a good start, which we managed to do. We got jumped by Lewis Hamilton. We got jumped by our fast starting teammate, Jensen Button. But can we hang it around the outside in turn one? Yes, we can. Can we? We now have the inside for turn two on Lewis Hamilton. We sort of do an aggressive move, but we don't touch wheels as he comes out of it. 
so squeeze them out there and get the move done. So yeah, back up in the P2 where we started. And yeah, no slipstreaming for stopping. Can we dive bomb them here? Yes, we do, and we do get the move done. Bit of bit of banging on wheels there, but yeah, into P1. So that's a great start for us. So now, advancing on to lap three, we are going to go into the pits and fit the hard tires because the t the softs were dying a bit. So yeah. Bit of an undercut there, hopefully it'll work for us. Make sure we slow it down for the pit lane limiter, which we do. And now, can we get a good pit stop? Where will we rejoin it? On track. So, um, so yeah, now we're just throwing them through the pit lane at 50 miles an hour, coming into the box now, onto the hard tyres, and we're in 15th place at the minute. There's a big gag of cars coming down the street, they get past us, and we rejoin in P17, there's more. Lewis Hamilton down 20th, and Sebastian Vettel, I think it was, yes it was, in 21st. So we get past both of them, that's both the championship contenders, way down. So that's promising for us then, as they've dropped way behind. So can we get Pascal Verlaine in, like we did on Max Verstappen? At lap one, yes, we do. We do get him. That was a nice move. So, can we get Kevin Magnuson? We try to, but he drives so slowly there. So, coming through now, we just out drive him and we get up in the 17th. So, now we're up in the 17th, but he tried to hang it around our outside. But uh, I was having none of it running a bit wide there, but yeah, we get the move on. So now his teammate Juli Julian Palmer on lap 4, started lap 5, and there's a few cars in the pit so that should be us up a few positions. So slipstreaming them now, no DRS obviously, I don't know why, oh because we weren't within a second of him. But we dive it up his inside and we get the move done, that was a nice move even if I do say so myself. So yeah, um, I just drive away from him, now there's more cars in the pit so we should rejoin, maybe... So where will we rejoin? We should rejoin in P10 because there's Nico Rosberg. We outbreak him in the turn one as he has to take the narrow line in. We can take the much much quicker racing line. Jensen Button is ahead of it. He has jumped us in the pit stop because we get held up in traffic. So how long will it be before we get past him? Not very. So now there's more cars in the pit so we should be up into P4. Um, we set the P3. We set the first P2. We set the first lap of the race. Sainz should be coming in, he does, and now we're in P1 lap 11, so, yeah, so that's pretty good for us then. Breaking into turn 1, no one on our inside, but yet we still take it away. So, yes, coming across the line now to take victory in Malaysia. So, yeah, that was a great race for us. Good comeback, we were down P19 one, one stage after a pit stop. So yes, that was great, great race for us. Eric Bullier ce celebrating on the pit today. wall. What a superb victory! Thanks, Crafty. What do you think made the difference here? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened. Safety car? There's no safety there's car no in the race. That they came out of that situation in a good position. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to take it, because we finished P2, and now. Jensen Button on the podium as well in P3, so that's great for the McLaren team. No Mercedes in the top three, so me, Valtteri Bottas, and Jensen Button, so not your usual podium, but still, more, point, more points for the McLaren team, so that is, is it 40 points, I think it is, 40 points for the McLaren in this race job well done so and now let's take a look at the driver standings well the lead at the top has come down so Nico Rosberg finished P5 now that Anthony Davidson, and Sebastian Van Vatten finished P16 and Lewis Hamilton last P21 as Philippe and Nazar DNF no one really jumps out at me to make me change my mind and here's how things are shaping up in the constructors championship so now we're only four points behind Lewis Hamilton this will be tense going into the, the final few There'll races. We're 113 points behind Mercedes in the constructors. I don't think that is possible for us. But anyway, we will try our best. So here's the resource points from the race. Should be 
111, and yeah, we get this resource planes for being a first diver and all. 83, so yeah, we're, that takes us over a thousand, and how's the rivalry looking? This should put us maybe neck and neck with Lewis Hamilton because, or just behind him. It does, no, one behind him. So yes, we have managed to claw it back after being, I think it was 9, he was 16, 4 or something. 16-5, whatever it was, we managed to claw it back now. We're going to be one behind him going into the Japanese Grand Prix. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that race. I certainly have. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and if you'd like to see more. So yeah, that has been this video for today. Until my next one, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.